Nelson, BC, the free ride capital of the province. What's a province? I think it's like a state, but much larger. Okay. We've been warned these trails are rough, gnarly, steep, and downright more difficult than their ratings suggest. Oh boy, so a black is like a double black? Precisely. Then what's after double black? Well, we'll just have to find out. We? <laughs> This week we're going to sample the greens, the blues, the blacks, and the double blacks and let you know where these trails fall on our rating system. All right, about 10 minutes down the road from the ferry is the Nelson North Shore, which we are gonna ride first. Uh, we're gonna go take Melanie down morning sickness. Oh. Today we're rocking a full face. Um, because the trails out here are beginning to get looser, steeper, rockier, more gnar! She missed it. Send it! Hey, come here. Heel. Heel. Nelly, come. Heel. Hey, bear. We decided to proceed cautiously after the bear encounter. We always take bear spray with us on our rides just in case. Luckily for us, we've never had to use it. You think I should go right, huh? Sketch, huh? I think the bear spray just popped off on me. There it is. This trail is rated black, but if you were to ask me, I'd definitely give it a double black. The rock was grippy, but very steep, chunky, and the runouts weren't great. 10 out of 10, would not ride again. Super sketch at the bottom. Well, turns out the full face helmet didn't really get put to use because I walked 95% of that. It's a good walk Ain't though. Ain't no shame in the walking game. You can always, work on your really loose, really steep gravel, downhill walking with your bike techniques. Yeah, Nelly was, she was like, she like went up to the edge and was like, eh, whatever, I'll just jump. Which are? Hold on for dear life and if your foot slips, just hope momentum doesn't keep taking you. I thought it was call for Evan. And call for Evan. What's going on? You need me to help? Yeah, just meet me at the bottom. See my goosebumps? No. Nope. Also, this is written in glitter paint. Reminds me of my youth. If you're in the North Shore area and actually want to ride your bike instead of walking, they have a beginner trail called Goosebumps that was much easier. Give me the shuttle down. That's where we camped last night. Did a quick little lap. Now she's shuttling down. With Melanie meeting me at the bottom, I took Nooner, which was much easier than Morning Sickness, with optional chicken lines for bigger features. From 
here we headed to downtown Nelson. This 10,000 people town, taken straight from movie set, had tons of great restaurants and shops. Our favorite was the Dominion Cafe and their chocolate zucchini muffin. With a healthy taste of city life, we headed to the hills for camp before dropping into the next riding zone at Morning Mountain. You're crazy. You're crazy. You ready for a ride? Ready for a placenta de I thought we were taking turntables. I know, but placenta de Santa is a funner uh, name. name. Rolls right off the tongue. Uh huh. Let's do this. All right. We're still. Found it through this uh, bottoms up climb. After climbing bottoms up, we decided to ride the top section of Placenta Descenta cool, cool, cool. before connecting into turnstiles. Good girl. Good girl. Turnstiles was a bike park style jump line similar to Crank It Up at Whistler. Unfortunately, we didn't have the luxury of a chairlift here, so the majority of the jumps were cased. Our next stop was just above Morning Mountain called Give Out Creek. This was where we did the majority of our camping, so it made doing laps in the area a blast. After climbing fairly high and very high, we dropped into a loamy single track called High Baller. This loamy blue was fun for everyone. Just be careful if you attempt the log skinny. The unstable entrance moved, resulting in quite the dismount. Evan's in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Good save. Next, I attempted a solo lap starting near the bottom of Power Slave. All right, looks like an old cabin up here. This part had some steep loose sections that kept me on my toes. One spot in particular caught me off guard and I had to bail. Next up was Bear's Den, a fun trail with some unique wood features that required a little oh, momentum to overcome. Could have used a little more speed, but it worked out. Mr. Slave would be my recommendation for a fun, fast trail. I even managed to convince Melanie to ride it later on.
Perhaps one of the things we loved most about Nelson was the breathtaking camping close to the trails. This gave us a reason to hang around and enjoy the views. The next day, we decided to mix it up a little with a cross-country trail that promised even more rewarding views. Just dropped Melanie off at the top of Valiahulia. Hallelujah, Valiahulia, Valiahulia, Valiahulia. I don't know, but uh, now I gotta go back down and pedal up. I bet, I think it's only 3,000 feet, but we just wanted to uh, save some miles on Melanie and Penelope, so. All right, made it down to the bottom and the bed it got moved up just a little bit. If you guys have a solution for this, just leave it in the comments below. All right, the van looks good. It's all locked up. Now uh, I have to go catch Melanie and Penelope on this climb. As Melanie probably expected, this is a steep grind. Definitely not fun. 48 minutes in, I finally made it to the trail that I'm gonna meet them. Are you ready to go or what? How long you been waiting here? Two hours? <laughs> Hallelujah, we're reunited. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Stop. Hallelujah, we're on Hallelujah. It is quite sunny out here. And um, Evan so graciously just dropped me at the top and then drove the car to the bottom and then pedaled up. So I've just been hanging out here, responding to some emails, checking Instagram. I have salsa vanilla up here, so it's not been half bad. The weather's beautiful. <laughs> now it's time to descend. Let's get it. All right, the top of Val Valahula, yeah. Val Hallelujah, Valahula, yeah. At the top, uh, there are some good views of the Valahula, what, Val <laughs> Valhalla Mountain. Oh God. All right, Melanie will have to voice over this. Goodbye. Oh, and here's the view of the Valhalla, Valhalla Mountain Points, Peaks, whatever you want to call them. Let's drop in, Nelly. Come on, go. Drop in. Below the guides. Oh, nice. 
Whoa. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Are you trying to roll backwards? Oh, there's my dog. Sorry, I was hanging out with your mom for too long, Nelly. Whoop. Oh, that was the end of it. Oh, the good old van. The good old van. Lastly, I decided to ride the double black rated bed frame trail. Bow, bow, bow. All right, so Nelson has a bunch of trails that aren't on trail forks. And if you're like me and you just see a trail and you think, oh, that must be it. Well, you're not always right. Okay. So bed frame has a sign, a very large sign that says bed frame. Bed frame is a fun techie double black with some rock rolls at the top and then gets steep and rutted at the bottom. First feature of the day is a slab with very little rollout. What is that? Cool. Cool. Quick turn up there. I wouldn't recommend this trail for any noob or novice or even Melanie. Uh, there would definitely be sections that she would walk and they are not easy to walk. Might be better to look at some of these features before you ride them. I'm, I don't know. I feel confident going as slow as I'm going, but. Just the heads up. Okay, so this is steep. Oh. Oh. the most dangerous thing I've done today. Cross the street. And my shuttle should be down here. Hey shuttle. I'm sorry you didn't get to ride the rest of the day, but you still got a ride in. <laughs> Nelson has tons of trails, and overall they were rated just like some other trails in DC. Maybe we're just accustomed to this type of riding now that we've spent the whole summer in DC. The neat thing about Nelson is they had trails for everyone and every type of rider, tech, free ride, cross country, and even park, you name it, they got it. So get on your bike and head to Nelson.
jumps out here. It's starting to tip. Oh, I couldn't use way more time. <laughs> 